Hi, you guys. This is Mama Motormouth um, with another episode of I-86 Dead. Okay, um, I'm just going to throw something quick out there to you. Well, um, my thing is, I feel that a lot of times um, folks are ignoring the wrong people. Put it to you like that right there. Um, and when I say folks ignoring the wrong people, I'm talking about uh, basically family members. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about um, friends. So... A lot of times you ignore the wrong people that's trying to, you know, I guess you could say help you. A lot of times people um, ignore um, siblings. Um, they may, you know, ignore their spouses. They may ignore um, real, real close friends, you know, loved ones. You know, people that really, really um, truly care for them and have their good interests, at, their best interests at heart. But the thing about it is, um, while you're ignoring these people that really love you and that really care about you, you know, you're tending not to ignore the people that you have no business, you know, I guess you could say like talking to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the people that I feel that you ain't got to be in talking to, especially if they're the negative or they're the wrong influence, would be, you know, like the ex boyfriends, you know, ex girlfriends, um, jealous people, no good friends, you know, people like that. Um, but a, a lot of times folks are just drawn to mess. You know what I'm saying? You, you're just, you know, really drawn to um, messy things or messy people, or you're really, really drawn to negativity. And, you know, the reason why I said that, and, and which I think that everybody goes through that, you know, this video basically is for everybody. Everybody goes through a family member that decides that they want to ignore them or, you know, a close friend or relative or, you know, someone that's really, really um, trying to help them or really love them that's trying, that they, you know, tend to ignore. So they're listening to the wrong people instead of listening to the right people. And um, like I said, when I'm talking about ignoring, let's just say you have um, your, uh, let's just say a, a brother or sister or something like that. They done nothing to you, nothing wrong. I don't know what it is. You, you know, you what kind of beef you got on your shoulder? You need to brush out. I don't know what's going on, but you know, you tend to cater to clients, customers. You know, you tend to cater to your, your messy friends. You get what I'm saying? Instead of um, catering to or even talking to or speaking with a sibling or um like i said or a good friend or a spouse you know what i'm saying because especially if, if it's in a relationship where you ignore a girlfriend boyfriend or a spouse or something like that you know those are the people that you definitely need that communication with but the thing about it is you ignore the people that you know that you're going to end up needing in the future and that's a that's a big no-no and then you want to get mad when that person decides to want to uh, turn back around and ignore you too you get what i'm saying and then all this see and the thing about it is it's not the fact that we we you, you're busy because a lot of times they say, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Oh, okay. Well, if you're that busy, why every 10 minutes you posting stuff on Facebook? Or why every 10 minutes you, you know, you posting something on Instagram, you get what I'm saying, or Snapchat? You, you got all that going on, but yet you have a sibling or yet you have a loved one, you know, that's trying to, you know, reach out to you or talk to you or, you know, communicate with you, but you would rather communicate with total strangers on Facebook than you would your own sibling. You get what I'm saying? And which I don't, you know, like I said, I really don't think that that's fair because a lot of people, you know, try to say, well, you know, your family should be close to you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But what if you're the one that's steady extending your hand to your family and they're throwing your hand away? They're slapping your hand away and you've done nothing to them, you know, other than try to, you know, be that family member that you need to be, you know. And like I said, it's a lot of people that actually have to deal with that. And I know it's very frustrating because it's frustrating to me, you know, knowing that I may call, you know, a sibling of mine and it may take a whole entire two to three days, a whole week before you even decide to get back in touch with me. Are you serious? I don't, it's not like I bother you. It's not like I'm asking you and I beg you for money. Baby, I've been taking care of myself for how many years? 25 now. So my thing is, no, I'm trying to be the sibling that I know I need to be, and I'm trying to reach out, but yet it takes you forever. But then yet you got things that you want to say about, you know, me or anybody else that's out there going through the same thing. You get what I'm saying? So you trying to reach out to family members, but like I said, I don't know whether or not y'all got a secret jealousy going on or, you know, whether or not you just really, really busy. No, baby, it's 24 hours in the day. You're not going to sit here and tell me that you can't take doggone 15 seconds out the day to dial my number and let it ring three times. But yet, you can go out to eat two, three times a week, but yet you want to sit here and you want to post pictures of your food or you want to see him post, I'm um, this place, this place, this place. You sitting here taking a, uh, leaving an account of where you at and what you doing. You acting like a dog on Kim Kardashian around here. It's like every 30 minutes, we already know where you at, what you doing, what you eating and everything else. But yet, I can't get five minutes of your time. I can't get 10 minutes of your time. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, this goes for male, female, you know what I'm saying? This goes to everybody that has, you know, you got uh, family members or blood kin or best friends or, you know, people that, you know, doing you wrong or treating you wrong or ignoring you for no reason at all. But then again, you know, yeah, it's people that's in your life that still need to be cut off, you know, family members included. 
You get what I'm saying? But when you know you've done nothing wrong to these people and you try and extend your hand and you try to talk to them, you get what I'm saying? And they said slapping your hand back, you know what? Just don't even do it no more. You know, not to say you giving up on your family and no, all. You know, just go ahead and give them this time to um, reflect so that they can see who's there for you and who's not there for you. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing, like I said, if you want to sit here and, and it's sort of, like I said, it's sort of heartbreaking because if you looking at every dog on 30 minutes or every 10 minutes, you posting stuff on Facebook, but yet I can't get a text back from you or I can't get a phone call from you or, hey, sister, how you doing? Or, hey, brother, how you doing? Or, however, you get what I'm saying? But you want to sit here and post stuff every 10, 30 minutes, but then yet you looking like, okay, well, you hadn't called me back or you hadn't said nothing to me or I called you three days ago or what's going on? You ain't that dog on biz. Come on now, please. Don't play. It don't work like that. Yeah, and, and it's and it's two two sides to every story, but yet again, it's it's still the road goes both ways too. If I'm reaching out, let you reach out too. The phone the phone lines go both ways. Signals in the air, y'all y'all can send a text message real quick, but then you can't send send a text message to the person that you know that care for you. You get what I'm saying? Nah, uh uh. Like I said, that it's it, mm. get your priorities to, priorities together. You know, get yourself straight when it comes to that area. Like I said, you only live once. You have those friends that love you. You have those family members that love you, and you better try to reach out to them now before it's too late. That's all I can say about that part right there. But this is your girl, Mama Motor Mouth. I love you guys and peace.